Welcome. In this video, we're going to show how to install Roots Magic. Now, this particular video is going to show how to install from a download. If, on the other hand, you're interested in installing from the CD, we've created another separate video that shows how to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you how to download using three different browsers. How to download in Internet Explorer, in Chrome, and in Firefox. Uh, each of these three browsers, the download works somewhat different, so we're going to go through each one of those and get them to the point where you've downloaded the installer, and then we'll show you how to actually do the install after the file has been downloaded. So let's go ahead and start with Internet Explorer. This is Internet Explorer. What you're going to do is you're going to go to our website and that's just rootsmagic.com. So you're going to type in rootsmagic.com and go to the Roots Magic website. Once you're here, you're going to select the downloads and then under that you're going to choose trial versions. Now you're going to do that regardless of whether you are downloading our free Roots Magic Essentials or whether you've actually paid for the full version. It's the same program, it's just that if you have that registration key, it will unlock the additional features. So go ahead and select Trial Versions and you're going to choose the Roots Magic. And it, these two are actually the same thing. They're going to take you to the exact same place, so it doesn't matter which you pick. Um, Roots Magic or Roots Magic Essentials. So let's just go ahead and say uh, try now. And Roots Magic is going to ask if you'd like to be uh, to receive information from us about updates, things like that. Uh, so if you would, you can go ahead and put your name and email address in there. On the other hand, it's optional. So if you don't want to uh, provide any of that, you don't want to receive any information at all from us, just uh, go ahead and click download. Now, when you click download in Internet Explorer, what's going to happen is it's going to take you to the page Try Roots Magic and it's going to show you the current version right there and it's going to show you the size of the file. So you're going to go ahead and just click on that to begin the download and Internet Explorer is going to ask, do you want to run or save this file? Now, I recommend choosing Run. You can save it, but if you save it, you need to make sure you remember where on your computer you actually saved it to. Okay, if you click on Run, it's going to download the file and it's going to come up and ask you, uh, bring you right straight into the installer. Okay, so in other words, it's going to download it, it's going to start the installer right up without uh, you having to, you know, go find where you saved it. Now, before this screen, you might get a message pop up from Windows that said this comes from a, an unsafe site or something like that. You don't need to worry about that if you are downloading Roots Magic from our site. Uh, Internet Explorer put, pops that message up for everything, okay? It doesn't matter whether what site you're on, it's going to tell you that it's a potentially unsafe site. So if you are on the Roots Magic site and you go to Downloads and Trial and you download it that way, when you get that message, you can say, yes, you trust it and go ahead. Okay, so at this point, we are now at the installer. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually close this because I'm going to show you how to get to this point with the other two browsers and then we will continue from there. Okay, so the next browser we're going to work with is Chrome. Okay, again in Chrome we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go to rootsmagic.com, we're going to go to downloads and trial versions, and we're going to choose try now. And again, we can in, we'd enter our information or not enter it and choose to download. And Roots Magic website is again going to take you to the page where you can do the download right there. And you go ahead and click to start the download. Now, Chrome is different from Internet Explorer. Instead of having an option, do you want to run this or uh, save it? It actually downloads it down here in the status bar and you'll, you would see a little progress thing going on 
and once it's downloaded, it will list the file name. Well, to actually then run the installer, just click that little button after it's finished and choose to run the file here. It's going to give you a security warning, but you'll see it shows us Roots Magic as the publisher. That means it's safe, the fact that it's showing us as the publisher and not showing unknown. Click Run, and again, you may or may not get a, a message from Windows pop up, and then you're going to be in the setup, just like we did uh, coming from Internet Explorer. Okay, so again, I'm going to go ahead and close this out again, and we're going to go to the third browser. So we're going to show how this works in the third browser, and that's Firefox. Okay, again, we're going to go to rootsmagic.com. We're going to click on Downloads and then Trial Versions. Again, we're going to choose Try Now. So this should be old hat by now. Choose whether or not we want to receive any additional information and download. We'll get the link to actually do the download. And when we do that, it's going to give us the option to save the file. And we're going to say, yes, we want to save the file. And you'll notice right up here, Fire, Firefox actually kind of hides this. Um, it's, it's not as obvious as, as Microsoft uh, Internet Explorer or Chrome. Once it finishes downloading, you actually have to know to go up here and click on this little down arrow. And when you do that, it's going to show you the file you just downloaded. And once you've done that, then you can click on that, just like we did before. Do you want to run this file? We're going to say run. And it is going to bring up the installer. Okay. So what we've just done is we've shown how to download the installer for Roots Magic using Internet Explorer, Chrome, or Firefox. So now let's go ahead and get into the actual installing of the program. Uh, any of those three methods will get you in, bring up the installer. You're just going to click Next to start. Roots Magic is going to ask you uh, if you accept the end user license agreement, and you can scroll through and read that, all the legal legalese if you'd like. Um, it's basically saying you're not going to be giving copies of your, you know, registered program uh, to your friends and family and all of that type of thing. So just go ahead and accept the agreement and click Next. And it's probably best just to click Next straight through here. What it's asking here is what folder on your computer would you like to install Roots Magic? And the default is probably the best. It's going to ask you what start menu folder you'd like to install Roots Magic in. Again, the default is perfectly fine. And then it's going to ask if you want to create a desktop icon. That means do you want a shortcut up here on your desktop? Uh, if you choose to do a quick launch icon, it's going to put an icon down here on your uh, on your taskbar. I don't particularly want one there, so I'm going to just choose create a desktop icon. I'm going to click next. Uh, the installer is going to show me these uh, selections that I just made, where, which folder, and what additional tasks, and I'm going to choose install. Okay. Roots Magic is going to go through and install. This installer is installing Roots Magic on my computer. Then it's going to tell me it's completed. It has installed Roots Magic. At this point, Roots Magic has been installed, and you can see up here I now have a Roots Magic shortcut on my desktop. And I have a shortcut for the Roots Magic to go utility as well. And that's actually covered in a different video, the Roots Magic to go. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and launch Roots Magic, finish that. Um, root, it's going to come up and it's going to ask, do I want to run the free version? I can just click on that and just run that free version of Roots Magic. Or I can actually say, I've got a registration key. I've purchased the program. I want to go ahead and unlock that. And let's go ahead and do that. You're going to enter your name. And you're going to enter that registration key that you received uh, in the email. And you're going to unlock. Once you've done that, it's going to ask if you want to register. And this basically lets you tell Roots Magic, tell us 
that here is who you are and here's your registration key so that if you ever lose that registration key we can send it back to you and and that way in case you need to register or unlock the program and put it on a different computer you can do that i'm going to just say register later um, rather than do that registering online just takes you to a form it's nice and easy i'm going to continue it's telling me hey it's really important to register and i am now in roots magic i'm up using the current latest version and you can always check to see what version you are running by clicking help and then about roots magic and that will show you right there what version you happen to be running at the time. If you want to check to see if there are any updates, click on help, check for updates, and it's going to notify you whether or not you're using the most up-to-date version, or if there is an update, there will be a button available that you can click and it will step you right through updating your program. And that is how you install Roots Magic from a download.